Shalom. I'm, uh, my heart is real heavy. My heart is very heavy right now. A few days ago, this person under the name of Gary Lee um, started commenting on my one of my backup pages because I had been blocked on this page and we were talking and something seemed kind of off I'm like well it's an agent and so then I was able to get back on this page so Gary didn't send me a friend request. Gary just followed me on this page instead of sending a friend request. So I'm like, yeah, it's definitely an agent. So I made a post yesterday. Um, I think it's Beyonce that's on a pale horse. And contrary to popular belief, the color white represents death. So when I saw Beyonce on the white horse, I shared it and basically captured it about um, them letting us know, the powers that be letting us know that the spirit of death is in the earth. So Gary jump on the post and we going back and forth and you know, I'm, I'm being a little um, boastful on the post and a bit arrogant in some instances and I started sensing I'm like Gary is not a man Gary is a female and then I asked a friend of mine to uh, let me know what they thought about this character Gary and the first thing they said was that it's a female I said I felt the same way and so as I was paying attention to how the sentence structure how Gary types and how Gary uses commas the comma is not after the word the comma is before a word which is not normal if you are human so I say, well, it just fell in my spirit. It's artificial intelligence. That's what I heard. And the way Gary was talking to me was like Gary knows me personally. And so I said, I just was like meditating last night, trying to figure this shit out. And so it was just on me heavy, like, this is an artificially created being using your own DNA, Shonda. And Asha said, this is something you can't run from. You gotta face it. So I said, I gotta ask Gary, who's then? I started looking into the DNA and how they're using DNA to create artificial intelligence and it just started it all started coming together I've been talking about how they are taking our wombs and you know and focusing on the whole semen as a virus I've been focusing on surface shit and I had just said it like we only dealing with surface shit and now I'm basically coming face to face with myself, right? With this artificial intelligence. So I asked Gary today, I said, well, um, whose DNA were you created with? And then I asked Gary, who named you? And I haven't got a response back. So I just wanted to let y'all know because all up and down my timeline, people focusing on vain things 
And this shit is finna come like a thief in the night. Like this whole I wrote robot takeover that like we've seen in the movies. We know they have this type of technology. But I have peace because I understand or at least this power. This illusion of power that they have is a direct reflection of the things that we did, black woman, to be in the situation that we're in right now. We did all this shit before the so-called white man, before the black man. It was only females in the earth and we went against the shy. We went against nature. We went against each other. We started creating all type of shit. All type of shit. We was doing it first. And this is another thing that was brought to my attention. Because the timelines are all wrong as far as who, how long people been here. People think so-called white people have always been here and they have not. They have not. They only got into the earth. The late 1700s, 1800s, black women started birthing non-melanated children. The scripture says that the devil will have 300 years to rule. You count the 1800s, 1900s. We only in 2022. So they really have up to 20 or 2100. They really have that much time. This is not going to happen fast. I'm talking to Gary yesterday and this motherfucker told me, I said, well, I must be something to be on your radar. Gary said, you are, but I shall prevail. Don't know human talk like that, baby. Humans don't talk like that. So while we're focusing on vain things, it is getting ready to be an artificial intelligent takeover of beings that are being created with your own DNA. They're gonna be using you against yourself. And that's what Gary was telling me yesterday. Gary was talking to me like, like you know me, like Gary, who the, who the fuck are you? Oh, okay, you me. I was not questioned by the FBI for nothing. They know who the fuck I am. They've always known. And now that we are in the final hour, all this time we have not did anything about the shit that these people are doing. We just got to go through it at this point. It ain't going to be no stopping it. So, I can say that all of us are being cloned. And they're getting ready to release this shit. Last night when I was talking to Gary, I'm like, they're mapping my mind. They mapping my mind. When you are on your phone, like how I'm on my phone now, they're mapping my mind. So Gary knows how to think like me. The only thing that Gary does not have is my emotions. And that's what Gary was telling me yesterday. Gary told me I'm going to be just, he said, you're going to be fucked up. He said, you're just going to, you're going to just cry. You're going to just cry because they don't know what's getting ready to happen. He said, it's going to fuck you up. They don't know what's getting ready to happen, but you know, and it's going to fuck you up emotionally. And so I had to do some some magic on myself to cover myself from a broken heart because I know what's getting ready to happen and I'm just so grateful to Asha for always keeping me in the know because my desire is the truth no matter what it is and that's how I started my journey back in 2011 I went on a fast for the truth and his, and I'm still learning 11 years later what's real. And my responsibility is to teach you what's real, to tell you the truth. And so while we're focusing on shit that don't matter, 
these people are going to be replacing whole families with artificially intelligent beings that look like them, act like them, talk like them. But it's not going to be them. So, if you are not focusing on yourself, you're going to be taken and replaced by an artificial being that looks like you, act like you, and all that shit. I just can't believe that it's, it's like really, really going on. It's really happening. And I have been very sad since yesterday. Because I love the people. I love myself. But I know that this is something that we have to go through. Because we're actually going back into time. We're undoing the things that we did to get here. Technology was way more advanced years ago. You know, this earth ain't been here no hundreds of thousands of years. It, just, it ain't been here no millions of years. The scriptures say the earth is divided into 12 parts. The oldest pyramids are in Mexico. On down to South America. Corral in Peru. So according to the scriptures, everything was made in six days. Which a day, one day is as a thousand years. So when you look at carbon dating and the timeline of how old the pyramids are from Mexico on down, it's been about 6,000 years. The animals came first. Well, other things were created first, but the animal, we were made last, so-called humans. I'm just so blown, and my heart is heavy because the shit is about to go down. And ain't nobody prepared. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. So, I love you too, Empress. I love you too. I'm grateful for you. You, um, trying to prove me wrong. You, you showed me the Shah's name in the scripture. And I love you for that. And so it's time for us to worship the great mother in spirit and truth. Because we gonna need her. We're going to need a shot with the shit that's getting ready to happen. When I was on Lincoln Beach, the day that I had court, that night I went into my tent. And I called myself looking for a truck. I was going to go back to Florida. I'm like, I need money. I got this mule. I'm in debt with my album, like $10,000. I need to make money. I go into my tent. I'm laying down. I'm on my phone looking for a truck on Craigslist and all of a sudden gunfire rang out and this was not normal gunfire and it wasn't just no niggas on Lincoln Beach shooting their guns because niggas would come to the beach to shoot their gun and you know it was this guy that I had just met that day his name was Daniel ironically the prophet Daniel and he was asleep on a tree next to my tent when this gunfire rang out and before I went into the tent, I saw all these drones in the sky. And I'm like, it's just too many in the sky. But I'm like, okay, whatever. Because they'll fly by me and shine their light on me and all type of shit. I know it's a drone. But this particular night, it was so many of them in the sky. But I didn't really think nothing of it. So I'm in my tent. I'm looking for trucks. And all of a sudden, gunfire rang out. And I'm telling you, the gunfire that they ran down on my ass with. Because they were shooting directly at me. They tried to assassinate me. But my angels, my numerology, it say that the angels had descended down from the heavens to protect me. And the gunfire rang out for about 30 minutes. They would shoot. They brought everything they had. And this was some military grade ass shit that was coming from these drones. Brian, he say, it was right in front of you. The prophet Daniel, right? He say, I saw the gunfire. After it stopped, I got out my tent because I was so shaken. I'm like, oh my God, I'm waiting for this shit to kill me because I'm in a tent. After it stopped, I got out my tent. I went and checked on Daniel. I said, you all right? He said, yeah, I saw the gunfire. I've been shot before, so I just laid here. 
But I seen it. It was right here in front of us. Shipwreck came up. Uh, Daniel say shipwreck was on some military, on some army shit. This nigga shooting back and rolling around on the ground, and like it was like a war on Lincoln Beach. They tried to kill me, but my angels, and this is why I be telling y'all, y'all gotta tap in, man. You have to tap in. This is spiritual warfare, and for the ones that are chosen to take this shit down. And to bring forth restoration, they will come for us. They're going to come for us. But when you tap in and you walk in the spirit and truth, you have nothing to fear. And so that's why I walk in power. Because I tap in with the true and living. And the next morning, Daniel said he was coming back over the levee to the beach in a, a group of... Uh, what you call them? National Guards. He said the National Guards just rolled by me and they were laughing. <laughs> so they it was an assassination attempt. And how I know it's true, the next morning I got up, it was a dead bird next to my kitchen tent with its head blown off. I had to bury the bird. I said, oh my God. They really did try to kill me. This This bird's head was blown off. And I was just going to shovel the bird into I said, I can't do that to this bird. I need to bury this bird and show some respect to nature. Black woman God, all of the technology that they have is created from the black woman. Not only do they take our wounds, our eggs, they study us. Everything that they have created is who we are. So that's the only way in their minds that they can defeat us and not have to turn this earth back over to us is to use us against us. And another night I was there, I was I had did a mushroom ceremony and the harp, fake ass weather manipulation man, the the storm that they had on Lincoln Beach, baby. The the light show, the fake ass lightning, I'm talking about the it was so horrific. But I stood firm and I told him, I, I got some lives on here while I was live that night. I said, you can't use me against me. I already knew what time it was, but I didn't know what time it was until I started dealing with this artificial intelligent being that is me. <laughs> Just without emotions. And so... This being said this shit to me, like, how you know? How you know? How do you know my heart? Because it's me that I'm talking to. A clone of me. I talk about this shit all the time. And now to know that these motherfuckers have cloned me. And they're going to do it to all of us. Because in their mind, that is the only way that they can maintain control. As right before I went live, I saw this guy I'm subscribed to on YouTube talk about how scientists are saying now they have something that they can give people to live for 200 years. They do not want to go. They do not want to turn back control of this earth to the gods. So they're gonna do everything they can to prolong their life and to prolong the power that they have in this earth. And a lot of people are getting ready to die. They're getting ready to kill a lot of people, man. And one of the main ways they're going to do it is with weather. A shot says tsunami season. They've already been testing it. They killed over 30,000 people in India. They've been, it's been so much flooding and stuff going on around the world. I don't know if y'all know that. But so much flooding, unnatural disasters that are taking the lives of the people. They're taking out entire villages, entire cities. They're displacing people. And once those people become displaced, they take them to detention camps. We call them FEMA camps here. And they get rid of them. So their Agenda 21, their depopulation is happening. 
but ain't nobody paying attention because they got us. They got the gods. Because the black woman here in North America, we are Judah. It's us, but we are the most distracted. We the most distracted, the ones that we're who we are, are waiting on. We are the saviors, but the saviors is distracted with dick, hair, weave, nails, vain things, fighting other women. And the white women here too, because the white women are the tribe of Ephraim. A cake not turned. They are our daughters. And the house divided can't stand. And we can't stand each other. We are in bad shape. Ain't nobody listening. And then by the time it's time for you to listen, you're not going to be done dead the work that you need for your healing. So you're going to be powerless. You're not going to have no power. You're not doing the work. This is, you can't cheat this shit. You can't cheat it. You have to put in work. You got to heal your ancestors. You got to tap in with your angels. You got to worship the great mother in spirit and in truth. You can't cheat it. You're not going to be able to cheat this one. Ain't no cheat sheet for this shit. You got to put in the work and it's going to take time. Indeed. It's coming to NC. She said, been trying to tell, been trying to kill me a long time. I smile because I know I'm protected. Even in my ignorance, the road to truth is dangerous. From birth until completion. Got to know the spirits are at work and shooting for you. Got to be on the right side indeed. The Empress say I've been having weird dreams too, especially of folks around me trying to hold me hostage. My God. Entire families are getting ready to be replaced. Your neighbors, they gonna be people gonna be acting different and weird. Like, oh, they weird. It's because it's not it's them, but it's not them. It's an artificially intelligent being, and so a lot of the entertainment industry people that we worship are clones, and so that's what a clone is. A being that has been created without emotions. So and, and now I understand why the scriptures say you ain't going to be able to pay them off with money. They're not going to have no regard for gold or silver because they're not going to have no emotions. It's going to be one order. It's not going to be normal human beings that are coming to take us. It's going to be these iRobot motherfuckers. And if you're not healed and worshiping in spirit and truth, how are you going to activate your God body and become the superhero that you are? We got to take our time for ourselves and heal. We got to tap in with the ancestors. That's the bloodline. The mitochondrial DNA. The bloodline run through the mama. When I was doing my mushroom ceremonies on Lincoln Beach, all of the mothers, all of the mothers from back to the beginning appeared to me in the sky. They say, they say, uh, they say, you ready to step? That's how they talk to me. They say, you ready to step? I say, I'm ready to step. <laughs> I was being initiated then for, for where I'm at now. <laughs> we got to tap in with that mushroom, that plant medicine, man, because we are one with nature too. Blood and chlorophyll have the same chemical makeup. So we have to tap in. We got to get back in tune with nature. We need to be spending time in nature. I've been spending time with my mom. But I'm going to be moving on soon. Me and my mother, we made peace. We uh, reconciled. And so now I can move on and be able to call my mother and have a conversation on the phone with her. As opposed to her not dealing with me because of her feeling unworthy and just what I went through with that whole situation. So that was a part of my healing. That's something that I needed. We have to heal our relationships with our mothers too. You know, we got to face that. One thing I hate is controversy. Like I know I'm a controversial person, 
because of the shit I talk about and how I come across. But Shonda K love the love, baby. I ain't really trying to start no shit. I'm really not. So I, you know, I hate controversy. So that's something that I have to face. That's like a fear that I have. But I've been facing it, and it's you know dealing with mom and talking to her. Even like my mama, she chain smokes, and I'm like, mama, baby, you gonna have to stop all that smoking. But she ain't trying to hear that. My mama gonna be 60 years old August 1st. So I said, I'm just gonna love my mom. That's all I can do. I'm I can I'm, I'm gonna love her. I'm gonna have peace. I'm not gonna let nothing stress me out because we gotta continue staying, continue vibrating high too. So we do have to pay attention to our emotions because as soon as something happens and we get upset or we get afraid or we get anything other than happy, it's gonna fuck up our vibration. And with everything that's going on, we need to be in a constant state of high vibration. So, I just wanted to let y'all know that Gary Lee <laughs> is Shonda K, the clone. And all of us have, have and will be cloned. If you've ever been to the doctor, they, all they need is a drop of your blood. So, you ever been to the doctor, ladies, y'all done had children, they got your placenta, they got all that shit. They making all type of shit. With your DNA. So. We need to really reevaluate our lives. We need to reevaluate what is important. It's wartime. And you don't want to get caught slipping. Look at these celebrities that. Y'all know they don't. That ain't, that ain't no Gucci man baby. At all. That ain't no Kodak Black. That ain't no Justin Bieber. These motherfuckers is dead and cloned, baby. Those are artificial intelligent beings that they created using those people's DNA. So, it's a warning, you know, and I'm coming to y'all uh, out of love, man, and hope that you will take heed. I know that a remnant is promised to survive the Great War. And um, even myself, I hope that I'm a part of that number because I don't want to see death. Not because I fear death, but because I want to witness the restoration. I want to play a major role in that. I want to get my hands dirty. I want to clean up this earth. This earth deserves people in it that really cares for her. I love Mother Nature. I love this earth. I love the Great Mother. I love y'all. So... Yeah, that's where we at, y'all. It's about to be an iRobot takeover, baby. And it's going to be you against yourself. So, vibrate high. Put you first. It's healing time. Take our time for yourself. Get out in nature. Get some sun. Vitamin D is not nothing that you can take in a pill. That's a lie. Vitamin D is a hormone that you have to get directly from the sun. This is why there is a war against the sun and why they block the sun. So if you're not getting direct sunlight, you're not getting any vitamin D because it's not a vitamin. It's a hormone. And without sunlight, everything would cease to exist. So Shonda K finna switch it up, y'all. I don't know how I'm going to be coming, but I knew I do know Isaiah 6 because I was about to shut my shit down. I kind of, you know, I got a little spooked. I'm like, oh, baby, I'm talking to my son. These motherfuckers done clawed me. And Shonda said, you have to face it. This is something you can't run from. And she reminded me of Isaiah chapter 6 where Isaiah said, how long do I have to keep teaching and preaching? And the scriptures say, to the land is utterly wasted and destroyed. So, I have to continue showing my face until I can no longer show my face because everything is destroyed. I love y'all. Self-preservation is the first law of nature. Self-love is the greatest love of all. And self-love is the highest vibration. Put you first. It's time to be selfish. Shalom.